Hi guys, Mehdi here from Mehdi Bushcraft and Self Reliance. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, two new items that I've bought, and they're both respirator bags. This is the Dutch one, and this is the British one, which I pur purchased on uh, the Wilderness Gathering where I've been uh, two, three weeks ago. Uh, first, I'll show you how you have to put them on. This is the Dutch one. This goes over your shoulder, which is perfect. Then it's got a kind of small strap or belt to put around your middle. That's the way you carry the respirator back in the Dutch army. Uh, Right now it's empty, but when there's a respirator inside and you get the alarm, it's gas, 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 gas in Dutch, pretty much the same. Just pull it open, take your respirator and put it on. This system can be easily undone, as you see. With the Velcro, and just take the the straps off. Then I've got a British one. The straps here are attached, so you can't take them off. And this is how you put it around your shoulders, and there's. One strap which goes around the leg, like this. And there it is. When you get the alarm, gas, 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 you open it, take your respirator out, and put it on. What I think is better on the British one is that you can use it on either side, left or right. Because also now you can take your respirator out. When you take the Dutch one, then the this part will be on your back and the opening will be on the back as well which is not easy in case of, uh, of alarm. Let's now have a closer look to the bags. This is the Dutch bag. No, sorry, this is the, yeah, this is the Dutch bag. As you can see, the pattern of the DPM camouflage is pretty much the same. The difference between the British and Dutch camouflage you can see in the, the black areas, the British has more dots at the end. But for the rest, they use pretty much the same color, pattern, everything. As I've already showed you, the, you have to hang it like this uh, on your hips. Then you open it and the respirator comes out. If you want to use it for uh, anything else, well, it's, it's nothing special inside. And when you close it, you close it with this Velcro strap, it's on the side. On the front, there is a pouch with a view of dividers. I don't know where it's used for. It's not the kind of respirator bag as I had when I was in the military. And there's one small pouch on the side. The British one, carry like this, uh, you can carry like a kind of messenger bag. 
when I open it, it's closed one, two, three, four places with Velcro. When you look inside, the two elastic straps here, there is a pouch with dividers inside. And there's another elastic strap. On the bottom, there are holes for drainage when water comes in. There's one side pouch, also with Velcro. And on the back, as you can see, you can open this and you can put it on your belt. The leg strap you can take off if you want to and uh, just use it as a messenger bag. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the Dutch one and I think it's very handy to, uh, and that's where I'm going to use this uh, bag for, to uh, take my things with me when I'm walking around uh, in the camp. At least it goes uh, fire kit inside, uh, uh, small pot, my mug, my, uh, my canteen bottle and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. The, the most important survival things just in case I get lost or I can't uh, get back to my uh, base camp. I think when I wear it on my hips I can still wear my, uh, my backpack on my back, the straps go around and it's uh, pretty uh, tight and secure. The Dutch one, which isn't as handy as the British one, I might keep to put uh, uh, food inside. Yeah, the, this could be useful to put my utensils in and maybe my my burner and inside I can put a lot of food a small pan maybe even yeah even my billy can just fill it up and put it inside my rucksack I think it's still handy but it's uh, I prefer the the British one uh, I paid for this uh, seven quid, uh, but you can find them uh, at Military Mart for uh, for four quid. I paid a little bit more. It's not that bad because I don't have to uh, pay for shipment to Holland. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I just discovered there is another small pouch here on the side. And this one I paid 15 euros, so that's about uh, 10, 11 quid, which is much more expensive. So, all right then. The two respirator bags, the British one, the Dutch one. This is the one I really prefer, which is much better, bigger, uh, easier to use. And this is the Dutch one, but I'm going to use it as well. I hope you like this uh, small review. Uh, normally, I'm not uh, really in for uh, for reviews and going into uh, all the details, but uh, in this case, I thought it would be interesting to compare both bags. Hope you like it, and uh, see you next time. Please subscribe and comment, and uh, see you again. Peace.